안녕하세요. 제 이름은 나미입니다. Hi, it's Nami. Today is a very interesting video because we are going to take a look at my chin hair. Y'all, I have these like two to three chin hairs that always grow a bit long. After giving birth to my second son, after Zeke was born, TMI, but my tummy has like more fur now and so do my arms than I did before. After that, I started growing these like two to three chin hairs that are really dark and black. When I touch my chin, I can feel them. They feel like eyebrow hairs and I usually pluck them. I want to get them removed by laser in the future. For now, I wanted to do an experiment because I want to see what happens during the bleach process in detail through the microscope. So let's take a look first. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of hair. Even like not where it's thick, that's a lot of hair. This guy I plucked out about like a few weeks ago, but he looks like he really wants out and he's he's coming out. And even it looks like there's like two hairs growing out of this. There's this one that I was resisting plucking. This guy's about like two to three millimeters now. He's pretty long. Oh, I found him. You see this sister? This sister here is thick. This one right here, you see that? Yep, that is a true chin hair. This is the chinny hair talking, okay? Do you see that? Compared to the rest of the hairs, it's so thick. In person, if you look at my chin, you'll see him there, he'll say hi. He really likes people. He likes to be involved with conversation. So I'm planning to put some bleach on him and observe what happens to the specimen. I've got a pad and a Q-tip here because I don't believe we need that much bleach. I've got my high level bleach and I'm gonna just bleach him the way I would normally bleach my head hair in terms of ratio and developer. I'm gonna use 40 developer. And I'm saturating her. I wanna see what happened to the hair. Oh, I don't see him. Oh, there he is. He looks a bit brown. For the most part, I feel like he's become... Oh, yeah, he's turned brown a bit. Let us once again cover him with bleach. I'm gonna try to get this hair <laughs> to about a platinum and try to see how long it actually takes for the bleach to process my extremely black hair to platinum. Oh my gosh, she's blonde. I think she just needs a little bit to go platinum. I think she's blonde enough. There she is in the middle of her desert jiggling back and forth because of my talking. <laughs> Look, she's even clear. Look at that. And she didn't snap off. Also, my skin around the area does not look at all red or irritated. I did use a sensitive scalp developer. It's a sensitive skin version of bleach developer. So that may be a contributing factor, but I did hear some people getting red irritation on their eyebrows when they were bleaching their brows, but I would definitely recommend go with a lower volume or a sensitive version of your developer if you find irritation is an issue for your skin. She looks good to wash. Let's wash her. This is the sign. Thank you, Marianne, for making it for me. Oh my gosh, we met her in Chicago when we were visiting. I don't know how she attached this. Maybe she got her parents to help, but like, this is like legitimate. And it like warms my heart because the fact that you even enjoy this series of like me just trying to figure out life, like, <laughs> I feel like you feel it. You know what I mean? That's what I feel when when we receive your comments, we read like 98% of all your comments. We feel what we want to say to you, whether indirectly or directly, to keep going, to work hard. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna cry. You know, that's important to us. And that was important through my whole hair journey. In the beginning, I was like, okay, I'm gonna just chop it off. Okay, I'm gonna bleach it, but I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, I'm failing and I am a bit stressed. I feel terrible because I just <laughs> feel like I have a hay wig on my head. Uh, but you know, it's, it's about working through things and it's about learning and it's about continuing to work hard to get there, to get even just a bit closer to there. And I don't mean just for hair, I mean for everything. And that's why it really touches me when, you know, you come and meet us, you send us your letters. I feel like 
how I want to encourage you has been delivered and you value that and you accept that and I want you to apply it to your life because that's how you grow and that's how I've grown and I think everyone comes from different places why am I crying this is me a video of me bleaching my chin hair girl but like you know what I mean you like you know what I'm talking about anyway let's take a look at this bad guy I just want to say thank you thank you thank you all of your love, all of your messages, all of your comments, we see them. We want to work harder for you. If you do have any suggestions, please let us know. Any ways we can improve our videos, please let us know. Let me stop talking. <laughs> Let's look at this little guy. He was quite clear. Where is he? I don't know why I keep switching between he and she. I'm sorry. This hair just, I feel like it fits both. You know what I mean? It just depends on the context. I mean, it's a hair. <laughs> This little guy looks quite platinum, I would say. Look, look at that. Nice job, Nami. I didn't do anything. I just mixed some product and put it on my chin. Okay, yeah, all the rest of the hairs around him also bleached. He is a bit clear, just like my roots do look. Not as clear as my roots because I do leave the bleach on my roots for about an hour, but quite clear still. See, now you can't see him. Oh yeah, you can still see him a bit. But when it was black, this guy was just sticking out. He wanted to be seen. He wanted all the attention. Now he got it. A full dedicated video on you. Please let me know what you thought about this bleach experiment research analysis. And if you like this video and would like to see more, definitely make sure to subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye.